Wetlands are one of the most productive and biologically diverse ecosystems. They contribute significantly to livelihoods and economic development. In addition to the products and services they provide to society, wetlands play an important ecosystem and environmental role. They serve as habitats for wildlife and bird species, provide air purification, flood reduction, drop relief and coastal protection. Their role in carbon sequestration cannot be overemphasized. Wetlands are the largest natural source of atmospheric methane in the world and remain a major area of concern with respect to climate change. Wetlands, however, are also the most effective carbon sinks on Earth and a critical solution to global warming challenges and are therefore a priority for restoration. In the past 45 years, the world has lost one third of its wetlands and to date, wetlands continue to disappear three times faster than forests. Wetland loss and degradation further aggravates global warming. Wetlands are also under significant pressure from both human activities and natural phenomena, including agriculture, land cover and land use change, human settlements, water harvesting, invasive species infestation, climate change, and unsustainable development practices. The Wetland Monitoring and Assessment Service for Transboundary Basins, we must, is co-founded by the African Union and the European Union under the Global Monitoring for Environment and Security and Africa, GMES, program. As an outcome of a very long cooperation between the European Union and African Union, we must can now take advantage of the free and open data access policy of the European Union Earth Observation Program, Copernicus. The WIMAS project was conceptualized and is operationalized by a consortium led by SASCO. SASCO is the Southern African Science Service Center for Climate Change and Adaptive Land Management. It is a joint initiative between Angola, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia and Germany in response to the challenges of global change. The WIMA strategy is with the users and for the users. To adhere to this strategy, the consortium includes leading Earth observation experts from the NRSC, National Remote Sensing Center, and SANSA, the South African National Space Agency. The consortium is further supported by expertise from key universities in the region the University of Botswana, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, Midlands State University, University of Western Cape, and the University of Zambia. The WIMAS project also includes a strong capacity development component, which has resulted in funding six master's students and two PhD students. This research will help enrich the understanding of drivers of wet and degradation in Southern Africa. We Must focuses on four transboundary river basins in southern Africa, with special emphasis on the Kuvile Basin, the Okuvango River Basin, the Limpompo River Basin, and the Zambezi River Basin. Similar to global wetlands, wetlands in southern Africa are also highly productive and biologically diverse ecosystems that contribute significantly to livelihood and economic development, including commercial fisheries, agriculture, wildlife management and conservation, and transportation services. Moreover, these wetlands are important habitats for fish. Its riverine woodlands support wildlife and birds by providing vegetative cover and suitable breeding and feeding grounds. These wetlands drive lucrative tourism activities that include photography, bird watching and hunting. Furthermore, the wetlands provide hydrological services by decreasing downstream flood risks. The future of these wetlands is dependent on effective assessment and monitoring that can inform policy and decision making to promote sustainable management. But inadequate human 
and institutional capacity, conventional hydrological and wetland data, as well as the lack of suitable and applicable spatial data, constrain effective wetland management efforts. To address this challenge, the WIMAS project is developing an interactive Earth Observation Online based platform that provides wetland information service for target groups and end users, supports sustainable wetland assessment and monitoring services, and it promotes policy implementation and encourages based wetland management practices in the Sadak region. The GeoPortal continues to provide derived products to assess wetland health and degradation. These include a wetland inventory to ascertain an understanding of the extent, status and change of the wetland, land cover change mapping to identify changes induced in the wetland by its exploitation and use, wetland flood dynamics to ascertain possible effects in the wetland hydrology, soil moisture indices and nitrogen content in the soil and also a climate service that show the trends and variability of the rainfall and temperature regimes of the wetlands to mention but a few. All this information is accessed through maps with graphics or charts and tabular data for analysis and comparison. Long-term management and subsequent restoration of the wetlands also contributes to the realization of the aspiration of the Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. The UN targets for the 2030 SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, and the Paris Climate Agreement. For Southern Africa's wetlands, as observation technologies offer solutions to enhance early warning systems, identifies climatic and hydrological trends, informs decision-making support systems and ensures knowledge-based policy implementation for the sustainable development, management and the use of the wetland ecosystems and its water resources. This has all been possible with the cooperation between African Union and European Union and funding from the GMS and Africa programme.